now we'll talk about the resource pooling uh, this is point number three that is the characteristic number three okay resource pooling the word pooling is very common it is like sharing something with your colleagues uh, for example if you're traveling from source a to destination a and you're sharing that cap that is known as pool because you want to take the advantage okay advantage of availability so in the it infrastructure resource pooling means if you need uh, cpu or ram or computing resources you will be able to use that from the available resources the idle resources so i'll start with the comparison that uh, we make between the cloud computing environment with that of the normal it infrastructure okay so let me draw the line here it's a cloud and here it's traditional it infrastructure let's say that you have opened a company for hosting and providing services to vendors not vendors but your clients you have three racks in your office one two three one belongs to first one similarly second and third belong to respective clients so i am going to take example of internet circuit first one has means all all of the uh, three clients have been provided with 50 mbps internet circuit okay and you have a monitoring tool installed and suddenly you start or you start getting the complaints from vendor number two that their internet is pretty slow and you log in into that particular monitoring tool and you observe that they are there their internet circuit is getting overutilized okay so what is solution you have to tell them that they need to pay for more internet okay for example they may pay you or they may ask you to increase the uh, internet bandwidth by 20 mbps okay they'll they are okay to pay you but the problem with you is that uh, you cannot do it because because of the resource mismanagement here when you log in into this particular client you observe that 90 percent of the internet is idle the bandwidth is idle similarly here in this uh, particular client 80 percent of the bandwidth is underutilized okay so this is kind of example of poor management means sharing or you can say pooling is not happening you cannot go you cannot uh, share the internet of one client with that of the second client so here here the cloud gets a benefit okay uh, let's say you have a cloud you have a big cloud here there are hundreds of uh, companies hosting their servers applications business uh, tools okay so if anyone needs any additional resource the administrator can log in and simply uh, increase that uh, that particular resource uh, quantity for example if he wants to increase the amp size by uh, 20 gb he can simply do it or there is a kind of automatic distribution of uh, resources that is resource pooling available okay because they have a shared infrastructure one for uh, one for cpu one for ram and one for storage okay and all of these these uh, companies or clients they are sharing the infrastructure that has been installed in background all right so they do not get the current situations like 
we uh, we discussed in case of traditional IT infrastructure. So if any particular um, this client is over utilizing the resources in that case resources will be automatically assigned depending upon the option whether the option selected or not okay or you can log in and change the things that's the resource pooling here you are able to make use of the resources in a well structured manner but not in case of traditional so that's the resource pooling for you in a cloud computing environment so i hope that it's been informative to you thank you